Hi everyone, hope you're well. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Really nice to uh, see you all again. So one of the things I really love uh, with astrophotography is working with others. And I've got a really good friend that I've made through this hobby who is in Colorado, United States. And his name is Joe Navarra. So we've done loads of collaborations uh, over the last sort of year or so. And uh, we've uh, had some really good successes. And even when working with Russell Discom as well, we got an A-Pod. So um, we're uh, always uh, happy with our results and we're looking. It'd be really lovely to get something else like that. But another A-Pod would be absolutely amazing. So um, we keep collaborating in the hope that we'll come up with another magic image. So uh, I'm going to contact him now see how he's getting on i know that he's got his new camera which is the same as mine the 2600 mm and uh, i'm pretty sure he'll be excited to uh, get a first light i know his weather's not been great recently he's had some really cold weathers and lots and lots of snow so uh, i'm hoping though that uh, it's all going to start changing soon and he'll be able to get some clear skies and we can link up and uh, get another collaboration done together so i'm going to give him a call now and hopefully he's free so let's have a look here we go joe right fingers crossed eh Hey Joe, you alright mate? Yeah man, how you doing? I'm alright, thank you very much. And uh, what have you been up to? You up to anything? Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm rattling off some flats right now. I, I just got a 2600 MM Pro camera. Well, I kind of knew you'd got that. <laughs> and that's why well, I was yeah, ringing you. from my videos <laughs> with the filters. But well, I've had mine... Yeah, done. sorry. I was actually getting ready to, to actually do some imaging for the first time with it. So I'm uh, taking some flats now, get prepared well, for it. Just when you thought you could uh, settle down nice and quietly with your new camera, because of course you know I now have my 2600 up and running because the filters finally arrived. Um, I wondered whether you wanted to work on something with me. Oh, uh, dude, that sounds great. I've got a kind of a crazy moon and I only got a couple clear nights to get a first light so maybe we could put our time together on something and, and have okay. a better image well i don't know how this suits you i know it's start of galaxy season um i had the uh 294 on the ct10 and i was taking subs of the croc eye galaxy croc's eye uh messier 94 um i've i've got a I've got a bunch of hours on that already, about half a dozen or so, um, and I was going to carry on with that with the 2600 and my new Antlia filters. So I was taking uh, LRGB and some HA. Oh, cool. So, what do you reckon? Do you want to do you want to join me on that, and then we could stick it all together? Yeah. Oh, that that sounds awesome. I would yeah. love to do that because I only have I mean, about two nights and. Uh, before I have a week or two of clouds, so... Yeah, I know your weather's been a bit... Well, ours has been a bit like that too, but I've, I've got some nice data, and I've actually got a few nights coming up, so I think I can get quite a bit. Um, and it'll be really nice, Joe, because we've both got the uh, same camera and filters, so there'll be a really nice match there. The only difference is your Edge and my CT10. Yeah, well, we're not too too far apart with my reducer i'm around 1400 millimeters yeah that's it i'm 12. 12. that's it yeah it's only yeah. 200 mil out yeah that'd be great all right mate that sounds really good awesome man oh that sounds great that's what i'll work on tonight and i'll let you know how things go yeah yeah well just let me know what you're getting i'll uh, report back to you what i've got as well um i'll just to let you know i've been doing 
uh, like 90 seconds on the luminance, three minutes on the RGB and 10 minutes on the HA because that's three nanometers. So you need to let that run for a bit here. Um, I can't really push my LRGB too much because as you say, there's a moon about, but also um, with my light pollution, it uh, doesn't like it. No, I, I figure I'll do about the same with the moon out and everything, and my scope's a little slower than yours, so... Mm. Um, but yeah, w w maybe I'll do 180 for luminance, because I've got a... I'm going to be at F7, but other than that... Oh yeah, that'll cool. work well. That'll work yeah. well. Alright then, mate, that sounds brilliant. Okay then, well you, uh, you take it easy, and I uh, hope you get those uh, couple of clear nights that you're planning. Yeah. And uh, and we'll 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 catch you soon. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Glenn. All right, man. I'll speak to you later. All, all right, right, Joe. Bye, mate. Okay. Bye. Well, that's brilliant. I've got another collaboration uh, on the way, so that would be really good. Um, so let's have a look at my equipment at the setup I've got for this uh, acquisition. As I say, I've already got some data that I took with the. 294 mm pro on my ct10 but now i've got my new 2600 mm pro with the uh, lrgb uh, v pro antlia filters and i'll also be using the um, antlia three nanometer hydrogen alpha filter so, right let's go and have a look Hi Joe, you alright mate? Yeah man, I thought I'd just catch up with you real quick. I wanted to uh, let you know that I got a bunch of LRGB last night oh. and uh, tonight I'm going to plan on getting some HA and some other stuff. But um, I've got a, I've got one of my images here to show. Oh cool, let's we'll have a look. Alright, yeah. So this is, I have to get out of the way, oh. uh, one, one luminance sub at 120 seconds. I decided to go with 120. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of nice... vignette in here, yeah. but um, I'm pretty sure that'll calibrate right out. But yeah, it's looking well, all right. Well, I've had a few issues because the moon has been really bright. Um, and it was, with my light pollution as well, it's meant that my LRGB, I've struggled. Um, and I've got LRGB, I've got a couple of hours of each, uh, but I've ended up with seven hours of HA because... Seven hours? <laughs> yeah, so basically, because the moon was causing me so many problems, I was okay with the HA, so what I did was I left the HA running all night at 10 minute subs, and I ended up with seven hours of it. <laughs> Let me show you, actually, I've got... Uh, that's the HA. Oh, wow! Now, I'll Dude. make it a bit bigger. Oh, yeah. That's just HA. So there's That's a lot. That's really nice. There's a lot in there, but I've got seven hours of it, so... Um, okay, well, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to take any. I'm just going to concentrate then on LRGB. Well, I think um, that would be... You, I think you've got our HA covered for our collab. <laughs> that would be great, Joe, because that's what I'm lacking. I've got, L, I've got LRGB, but not enough... And, and the yeah. HA, when I add it, it overpowers it completely. So it would be good if we've got some more LRGB. It'll mix in <laughs> nice. Uh, excellent. All right. Well, that's coming along nicely. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm excited. I guess uh, another night or two. And, well, one more night for me, and then the clouds come back. So, okay. Well, um, let me know. We'll see what we got. Yeah, let me know what you've got, and then we'll get our data together, and we'll have a look and see what we can come up with. Uh, right. Sounds great. Yeah, exciting. Okay, man. Talk to you later, dude. Yeah, take care, Joe. Thanks for <laughs> calling, mate. Bye. All right. Bye.